Marlin here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you and happy Monday morning to you guys. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and that you were able to do exactly what you wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't do too much. I sat around and nursed to my back that is still tweaking me. You know, I, I, I will admit that I got up on Saturday evening and I did a little bit too much and this is Sunday actually and I'm like gonna sit right here at my kitchen table and do my little crafts today. <laughs> For this, my episode four in my The Pioneer Woman Inspired Decor series. I have really enjoyed doing this series, you guys. I really, really have. And as you all know, this has been my brainchild since almost a year ago, really since the end of the summer last year, when I went to Walmart on a whim that one day and discovered all of her stuff in Walmart, you know, all of her placemats and all of her pretty dishes and whatnot. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool? And I remember doing that haul with you guys. And I said, wouldn't it be really cool to base my decor around the Pioneer Woman? And that's exactly what I've done. I'm just loving it, absolutely loving it. So today I think you'll see that the palette is gonna lighten, just lighten in color, just a, just a smidge. I'm still gonna be adding the pops of red and the pops of yellow and so on and so forth, but you'll see what I mean when I get into making this. And I'm going to, I also wanna show you something, uh, and I'll show you this when I get up to show you everything that I've done here, sitting when I'm sitting here at the table. I was thinking the other day of a quilt that my great grandma made I don't even know when you guys back in the 40s 50s. I really don't know I don't have any clue and I have no way of knowing how old this is. I can't ask my mom This was my mom's grandma who made these this quilt And I remember I had remembered like you know how you have an epiphany when you wake up in the morning <laughs> It hit me like a ton of bricks the other morning when I woke up on I have a yellow quilt that I think is gonna look really good with this decor. So I went and I grabbed it out yesterday out of my linen closet. And if y'all follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it. So, and you can see what I'm talking about, but it has all the colors that I've been using. I'm sorry, I have a piece of hair, rogue hair that's like poking me right in the eye. Got it. <laughs> uh, so I have that hanging on my couch right now. Uh, but today I'm going to be working on a bunch of little arrangements, uh, little flower arrangements. One that's going to sit on the top of the ivy table uh, using that red dish that I got from the Pioneer Woman. First I'm going to be making a funky bow to hang on that spool candle that I have over there. So I thought I would make a funky bow for there. And I'm going to be making little flower rings to go around some candles. Uh, then I'm going to move into the kitchen and I'm going to work on the uh, flower arrangement for the middle window uh, and uh, the three-tiered tray and then three-tiered wrought iron tray and then I'm going to get up and go and do the corner one that sits in the corner. So, and while I'm sitting here, I want to let you know, I'm hoping by Friday, by the time it's time for my live, I'm not sure if it'll come by that time though, I've placed an order with craftoutlet.com and I'm hoping I can do a haul during that live to show you what I've chosen to do for a Pioneer Woman inspired wreath. Think deco mesh and think yellow and green and red and polka dots and you know, you guys will see, but I, I really hope that I can haul that and then I can make that next week. I am hoping that I get my Hobby Lobby uh, order that I made that has been shipped. I'm hoping I get that this week so that I can go ahead and finish my indoor decor, which would in, will entail this table, that corner shelf, and this hutch back here. This table meaning the the big lantern centerpiece and funky bow swag you know so and that will finish up the indoor decor i am probably not going to do i'm going to hang the wreath that i make on my family room door to go along with all the other decor that i've done in here and i've decided that i'm not going to do the pioneer woman inspired decor outside i think i'm just going to tweak the decor that i already have in a bin for out there i'm not going to recreate the the wheel for the outside decor and 
uh, Sweet Daisy Creations and I have talked about collabing, uh, having a little collab for a spring decor uh, home tour. Davida, if you're if you're watching or any of you others who might like to join us, would be welcome to join us. I don't know a date yet. I have not chosen a date and I don't think that Kim has either, but we were thinking that you guys might enjoy seeing a couple of spring home tours, you know. So any of you crafters out there who would like to join me, let me know. Uh, might be better to private message me on uh, on YouTube so that I'm sure to get your message if it, it might get lost in the comments so if you're interested let me or Kim over there at Sweet Daisy Creations know and Davida if you're listening uh, I'll be getting in touch with you too to see if you're interested in doing this and uh, we'll see if we can pull that together no promises but hopefully so but anyway let me turn my camera and point it down and we're gonna get started making up a little bit of decor for my ivy table and for the kitchen. Just a lot of little, little pickly, piddly, uh, as my mother would say, just a couple of little piddly things. So I'll be right back in just a second and we'll get started. Okie dokie folks, I'm back. And as you see, I have already gone ahead and cut my ribbons for my funky bow and as you can also see i'm not going to be using any of the florals that i've been using throughout the rest of the core and as you can see i'm not using any yellow and that is by design i don't have a lot of yellow in my ivy table setup so therefore i kind of wanted to keep with the more uh, the lighter tones as you can see i'm using a, a pink instead of the red and i'm going to use these flowers instead of the the bread poppies just for this setup right here at the ivy table i'm going to make it a little bit softer and a little bit airier than i have the rest of it but yet i think it will blend beautifully also too if you remember the kincaid picture is above the ivy table shelf and all of this kind of plays in with that kincaid feeling kind of a kind of a look i feel yet still giving a nod to the pioneer woman so anyway, i'm going to get started i'm this is only going to be a nine loop funky bow and as i said i'm making it to be to tie it around the top of my tall spool candle that i have on the ivy table so it didn't need to be uh crazy big i have some pipe cleaners over here i thought i brought some in yeah, here they are. I grabbed all blue, obviously, today, so I will use a blue one. Won't be able to see it. All right, so here we go. And as I said, I made all the strips 20 inches long, and which means that I'm going to want five inch tails on each loop. Five inch tails, so I go to five and then I go to 15 to give me 10 more inches that I can pull together and make a five inch loop. And then that leaves me with five inches for the other tail. But as I've said in this series, in reality, all we need to do is fold it in half and find five inches for a loop and pinch and then go to the back and twist that back tail to the front. Because this is an odd numbered bow i'm going to switch directions of my loops every time when i mean i'm going to switch directions that uh, let's talk about my my thumb is being center or think about my thumb as being center the loops are either going to go up from center or they're going to be pointed down from center and i'm going to switch directions every single time so this time i'm pointing it down still going to that back tail and twisting it to bring the right side up. And some ribbon might look like two-sided ribbon, but the texture is usually different. So I usually try to be consistent. Even if it looks like two-sided ribbon, I call one side <laughs> the right side. So, and I always try to keep that right side up because these loops are gonna come up and go in between the loops, or these tails are gonna point up 
and go in between the loops and so on. So here we go with our third loop. Again, finding five inches for the tail and we're gonna point it, or for the loop, and we're gonna point it up from center this time. Again, same thing, going back and twisting that. So there we go, that's our first time through our pattern of ribbons. Here we go with the second time through. We're gonna go through three times. Changing direction every time we add a loop, not every time we add a set of the pattern, but every single loop, we're switching directions this time. And twist. And we're gonna point up this time. Twist. And we're gonna point down this time. And twist. Here we go. I realize that the pink is not necessarily what my palette has been throughout, but I started that very first bow when I did my funky bow extravaganza. I started with the pink just to match that sign that sits up there. So I wanted to be consistent and I didn't want to throw red in to the mix. That's why I went ahead and went with the pink. Okay, one more time through. And we're gonna be pointing up. Really, it doesn't matter all that much because it's all gonna be a jumble when we're done anyway. But still, makes me feel better. And up. And one more. And up. You, I just took a pipe cleaner and kind of put it around the top and pulled it around to the back. Use the hand that you held the bow closed with as resistance. Pull tight and twist, twist, twist. I twist both my hand and the bow, but some people just do the bow. Some people just do the hand side. I do both. So, But then before I go further, I want to go ahead and pull out, I'm trying to see the, the how big the, uh, I think I'm going to use this blue, and just put a little piece of this blue on the back, or teal color on the back, so that I can tie it onto the candle, so I don't use the, you know, the pipe cleaner to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to cut this, after I get this tied in there, I'm going to cut the pipe cleaner down. I just find the center of that put right side down and just snug it in there, just to give me something to tie it onto the candle, a spool candle with. Twist that several times and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down. And just flatten those out. And let's do some fluffing here. So just trying to be consistent in my design in this area of the house. And this area sets itself aside. There's nothing that bumps up against this area, you know, that would pull your eye necessarily as far as the red and the, you know, the bold red and the yellow is concerned. This is kind of just softens the eye as you go by, you know. Of course, I could mess around with this bow all day long, tweaking and pulling and all of that stuff, but I will tweak a little bit more and then we'll move on to our next little project. Got lots of little projects. As you can see, all this stuff sitting around here. I do think that it's important to choose your ribbons though. That is the most important thing in a funky bow, to make sure your ribbons coordinate with the rest of the decor around it, you know? I really think that's important. 
right. you know, the size of the ribbon, you can see I used two one and a half inch widths and one two and a half inch width. So I think that made a, a very nice bow. You know, it'll be tied on that candle ring. Not this one, but the one over on the table. I think it'll be really pretty. All right, so there we go. One funky bow with, ta with tails to tie it on that candle. Let me set this aside and let me pull this over. This is a Pioneer Woman bread basket. And it was $16.88, same price as my, my uh, teapot. And so I thought I would make just a little centerpiece for this. It doesn't have to be anything, oh my goodness, hang on a second. Anything really, really, really fancy, but I want something there, you know, to try to pull all the colors that I'm using over there together. Anyway, you all saw this candle that I purchased, and I had looked at this before I left, and I tried really hard to match it. Obviously, I didn't carry this to Hobby Lobby with me, but I think I did all right. I was surprised because I was standing there, and I was a little frustrated when I was standing there looking, going, I can't find the exact color that I'm looking for, and I think I got about as close as I was going to get to that. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy. Mm, it smells really good too with myself and I you know me I love my Florida leaves love my Florida leaves but as you can see this sits down too low in this basket so I want to do something to lift this candle up not necessarily so you can see the bottom of it but up a little bit so that the Florida Lee will stick up above you know whatever flowers and whatnot I put in here so the first thing I want to do is take some of this Florist foam, y'all know the name of it. I can never remember, what is it, Oasis, Safari? <laughs> I always think of a desert, you know, when I think of this. And I'm just gonna simply, I had used this, they, these come in blocks like this, and I had bought like a pack of like six or nine blocks. And I've used it now and again here and there, you know, throughout my decor. So I'm just gonna cut this piece in half and I'm just gonna lay some, I don't know whether this will, yeah, two pieces will fit fine. Lay it in there like that. And before, I mean, I can put the candle in there, but see, I need to really make sure that it is, in there nicely and not gonna rock think that'll work. I am going to save a couple of these, but the rest of this is trash. As you can see, I got my teal tablecloth on, and I just got that stuff all over it. Oh my goodness. All right, so there we go. I need to kind of put it here for just, face it toward me for just a second here. Sometimes I will tape these to the bottom, but I'm not going to in this case. I'm just going to start trying to think here. Get my snippers. Oh my goodness, I got everything but my snippers. Okay, right here we go. Thought I had everything. Best laid plans, y'all know. So I think I'm going to try to go in, I was thinking of going in this way, but I want it inside. So I want to kind of camouflage at least the front of this. I have no experience with flower arranging. I'm just telling you right, right now, I am not an expert, would never profess to be an expert at flower arranging. I just do 
what I think looks best or looks pretty. And I go from there. I had no plan of how I'm wanting to do this. I'm just kind of winging it here right in front of you guys. <laughs> Hopefully it will work out okay. <laughs> I'm liking that so far. Now let me, I'm gonna wait, save some of those until a little bit later. Let me see. Like I said, I'm still gonna be using some of the, but you can see that this pink is a little bit different than the solid reds, you know? Either I don't worry about that back there. I wish I had one more so I could put one more on either side. Hmm, this will not go anywhere. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I have this bouquet of stuff that I purchased from that's too bright. From Michael's that day. Well, how about blue flowers in there? We'll see. Doesn't look bad, does it? Couple of butterflies. Or just one butterfly. I'm really quiet. I know. I know, I know, I know. thinking What do you think? <laughs> it's getting there. Uh, how about if we add some cream into the mix? these up on a whim in Michael's earlier today. They were 50% off of $2, so they were a dollar. How about 
if we add a little bit more pink to the mix here. <laughs> so, you will pull these forward a little bit. I like that better. That makes me feel better. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to quit. Maybe one more here. <laughs> Hang on. quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> uh, I love it. I really do. I really do. You know, when you only have so much to work with and you don't want to go out and buy more because you know, guys, I bought a lot in this decor. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I don't want to go out and buy any more. As it was, I spent another $20 on these flowers that I knew that I would kind of need to work. And I'm glad I did now because I already have grabbed from it and I figured I would. I figured I would. Of course, I just said I'm I was done, didn't I? I'm still adding. But. Like I said, I, don't, I would never profess to be a flower arranger. I'm just doing what feels right to me here. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. <laughs> That's it. I love it. Oh my goodness, it turned out cute. And I think with everything else over there, I think it's going to look cute. Lord willing, anyway. <laughs> I used that whole cone of flowers except for this big big fat what is that a hydrangea help me out I think it is it's a hydrangea and then look at this yep all right so that is everything that I was going to do for the ivy table everything else I have sitting over there that I'll show you at the end so let me I'm gonna clear my workspace here a little bit. Oh, I'm fibbing. Ah, I'm fibbing. You know what else I had? I had these that I wanted to do something with. Oh, I forgot about them. I wonder if I could make a couple of, how many of these do I have left? Hey, Tufts. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Maybe I'll do three. Four. 
one. Let me see. I did go out and get these tiny little. Y'all will remember I got these from Hobby Lobby. Tie them together like that. I think that'll work. These are, now you watch me struggle with these because these are so little and I have, I have my glasses on but I have a terrible time. There we go, not too bad. Seeing it and manipulating it. There we go. As you can see, I'm just putting a couple of these little tufts of pit berries together. And now I'm going to put another tie back here. sticking out like that. I think I just want them, since I don't want to go out and buy pit berry rings, I'll just kind of make my own, huh? Not that they're as pretty as, or as full as what I might be able to buy, but I think they'll serve their little purpose here. A little something something. There we go. I think that will be fine. Okay. Now Let's move, so that does it for the ivy table. Let's see, let's do the kitchen window first, huh? I was going to bring in that kind of cream colored vase with the black star on it, and then I remembered no vase yeah. at a consignment store, I don't even know, last summer, you guys, so I thought, I would go ahead and make a little arrangement in this. And so I'm gonna to try to put, and this will go in the middle window in the kitchen. I thought I would try to put a little bit of this in the vase that I'll never ever get out again. I do want something in there so that that will help things stand up. And again, I'm winging it here, but we are gonna go back to kind of the red these will be, these will flank it on each side. So, let me see. I bought me some more poppies, big ones and little ones. And I'm gonna use some of these in my tray there, so I don't think I'll add the blue. But let's add some yellow to this. And I might need to go grab me some Hang on, just to send things. And I, this is not going to be anything major or involved here. But let's see what I can come up with.
Again, I don't want it to be huge and obnoxious. I just want it to be a touch. Ugh, I don't like this. Ugh. You might just go with red and yellow, huh? No, I need a little something. Some blue but it's really not the teal do I have any more teal these need to go find some coral to go live with you know I'm not crazy about those they're not easy to work with either so let's see what I can do with these little boogers It's going to be sitting up in the window. You know what else I have? I think might be pretty. stop. Yep, I like that. All right, I was going to put something around these candles, but I'm not. I like them just plain, just like that. So there we go. I'll mess around with it when I get it in the window too. So there we go. That's the kitchen, middle kitchen window. Now, got one more thing to do over here, or maybe two. I thought, I think I might make something for around these out of that pit berry back there. I remember I bought these really pretty, vibrantly blue candles. There is a touch of this. Actually, it's in this here, too. I don't know whether you can see this, but there's a touch of this blue in the runner that I have up on the island. So I thought I would, so I'm gonna have to cut. A bit of this off, I think. This is the same. Again, I just want to make something to go around and just to add a little something something you know I think. Say. Right about there. Again, I'm eyeballing this. I should have measured it, but I didn't think about it because I'm working and I'm in the zone. <laughs> so, let's see. That looks good. Pretty close. All right. So I'm going to have a yellow bird, a blue bird, and a pink bird. Y'all have seen the galvanized steel trays that everybody does with their farmhouse decor and such. 
this is kind of my nod to them, you know, with my wrought iron, since I use a lot of wrought iron in my decor, you know, and I just thought I would, how cute would it be to use this little tray that I've had for, I don't even know how long, and to tell you the truth, guys, I don't know where I got it. I think I got it from Hobby Lobby years ago, though, when it first opened. Our Hobby Lobby's been open for maybe, well, I don't know, three or four years, and I bought this back a long time ago, so I really don't remember where I got it. But it's served me well here the last, this will be the third time that I've made it up into something. <laughs> and I just think it's super cute. I love it. So, let's see. I do have some teal colored. Instead of using the gold butterflies, I thought I would use teal this time. I found, just happened to find these in the garage. So I thought I would put some teal ones on each shelf. Got four. And I always like to have this sign setting up here on the shelf, on the top shelf. But like I said, I do have these. Now that I think about it, I don't think I want to use these. I think I want to use parts and pieces of my Pipberry garlands here, maybe. Put it down first. Just here and there, not everywhere, just here and there, you know? It's a garland that I had probably out in my living room and dining room. And I've reused it. And I don't think I want it going all the way around on that shelf. I kind of want to make it look like it's starting on the top shelf and going around and coming down on the, you know, without it, without me literally putting it down to the next shelf, but continuing on around and going that way and meeting, you know what I mean? Kind of like a spiral. That's kind of the way I'm thinking about this. So I just need a tiny little piece for the top. I hope I explained that right. You can see it starts there, so I need to kind of finish it off back up here. Kind of like that. We have it kind of going up. even room for Mr. Birdie to sit and my let your faith be bigger than your fears sign that I always like to have up here. here one over here I think now I have these four gerbers that I bought and I knew when I bought these that I wanted to use them for this tray for sure the gold. Do you want to add some yellow? Don't want to add the forsythia. Look at that dowel. I remembered what it's called. Forsythia. I want to save that to be honest for my uh, for my this lantern centerpiece. I think I'm going to need it for that. Maybe. But again, this is just pops of color. I don't want it to be overwhelmingly yellow just little pops I have
have to remember that I need to turn this every now and again too. Again, my $20 worth of flowers at Michael's is coming in super handy. I knew, I knew it. I knew I needed more like little flowers like this, you know? Let's just do one. put in some signs now. Believe. And these I just like nestled around. I did not care. This one kind of drove me a little crazy unless I put it up on top of something or back behind because I kind of put a gap in my There, let me see. Be still and no. That looks alright like that, I think. Blessed. Let's do it on this side. Family. I'm put it right there. <laughs> okay. Now. Let's see, we need some red, don't we? We need some pops of red. red up there, but it may be a little pink to help with that little birdie. Okay, let's see here. This is why I'm not so sure about this blessed. I really want it to be out like this. There is a little coral uh, note in her runners, too. It's just there's something in there. Alrighty, you guys. I think that will do it. <laughs> well, I think that I have created enough in this video. So, um, but I, I have a lot of footage here, and I want to get it into one video for you. I don't want to make put it in, cut it in half, and make y'all wait. So, I'm hoping I can, you know, edit and make it so that it is a nice, smooth video for you guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to close this one out, but first I wanted to remind you guys of my live. <laughs> I'm going to be going live on Friday at 2 p.m. for the next couple of Fridays, and then we'll see after that, you know, how it goes. Uh, the other video that I'm going to have for you for sure this week, at least I hope, if my Hobby Lobby order comes, is this lantern centerpiece with funky bow swag, uh, how I put this hutch together, and how I put the 
uh, corner cabinet together. I'll probably go ahead and do these two things and just show you the finished products for that because that funky bow swag will, will take a good while and the centerpiece, you know, for the table here. So, but anyway, and then that'll do it for this series on the inside, except for that wreath. You know, I still have that wreath to do. Um, anyway, all right, that's it. So let me just say, while I'm looking at you here, that I hope all is well with everyone, and that everyone's health is going along as it should, and that nobody is struggling too much with chronic pain or illnesses. And if you are, I hope that you have a great doctor who is helping you get through the tough times. Please know that you're always in my thoughts and prayers and that I always think about you guys because I, I know at times in my life I've had times when I've had things yanking at me and pulling at me and pulling my attention away from where I needed to be or where I wanted it to be. And I hope that none of you are struggling like that. So... Me and my three-tiered tray and everything else that I've made today are just going to say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okie dokie, guys. I'm back. The first thing I wanted to show you was this little quilt that my great-grandmother made who knows how many years ago. It is very old and very thread-worn. I have no idea when it was made, but doesn't it go with all of the colors that I've been working with in here? Check it out. You know, I'll try to get it in the picture with all of that up there. Check it out. It is really, I'm ve being very careful with it because it does have spaces that it is torn, but it's very special, very special. And it looks like the pioneer woman inspired my great-grandmother to make this. <laughs> Couldn't it be any more perfect. And y'all know me. I have everything done and in place. And here's the way that top shelf looks with that funky bow that I made in the funky bow extravaganza. Try to remember to put a link in the description for that. Put those two little birds and look, I haven't taken the price tags off of them yet <laughs> that I hauled. Forgot to take the price tags off, which I will do. And then my little bird house and my little bird welcome metal sign and my Kincaid, yay little willow tree figurine and then here is what the ivy table itself looks like y'all remember this life is a beautiful ride that's where that landed and then my little candles the little chunky birds <laughs> and the flower arrangement we just did and the other chunky bird, little angels praying, and that funky bow just with the solid ribbons that ties in with that one, but is slightly different as you can see. And then we're gonna move into the kitchen. I did not do that back corner, you guys. I'm exhausted and my back is killing me, so I'm quitting for today. And I'm hoping I can get this video down into a manageable size <laughs> for you guys. But I ended up putting the Pioneer Woman plates in my windows. And here are those little, little bowls with a votive candle. And then I tied a teal bow around my little owls. There's my black owls around his neck. And then that little bowl or little plate. I have some metal plate holders coming from Amazon, but they didn't get here in time. So I just grabbed a couple old wooden ones. They're very old. It'll look a little better there. And then, of course, here's the little arrangement on the middle window. I hope you're able to see the colors. Look at all Chris's plants out there. He's got them all growing out there. Look at that. <laughs> but this turned out super cute in my milk glass vase. 
And then of course, I have the same setup over here by the Black Owls, which I'm loving, you guys. I'm so glad that I kind of walked outside my box. I'm sure they'll have different bows on for every holiday <laughs> as we go through the year. But it's hard to see these windows in the daytime because of all the light coming in. And then I did not do that, but I, you all will see how that's done either next video or in a home tour when I do that. So here is my three-tier tray. The blessed fell over on the way over here. There we go. My little candle rings, Pipberry candle rings. And then this runner, just Pioneer Woman. By the way, I do have a bowl there. I just have one towel hanging there. I have things to finish for sure. So, but obviously this little three-tier tray is, there's something to look at no matter which direction you're coming to it from. <laughs> there's some bad grammar for you. <laughs> but anyway, that's it, you guys. That's it for this one. I'm bushed. I'm going to sit my weary bones down and start editing this video here after a while but I am just gonna say let faith let your faith be bigger than your fears and with that I'll just say until next time y'all take good good care bye bye